What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a brand new review of 2021 Panini Prism Basketball Retail Hanger Boxes. So these are one of the few, or actually several now, retail formats we get. And we did the Blasters already. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Uh, probably most comparable to the Blasters in terms of price. The SRP is about 18, 20 or somewhere around there, a little more after tax. And then resale is about 130. So give or take 10 bucks. I think Blasters were about 145, 150. So these price size would be what you compare you know, the blasters to blasters to these stuff like that. So four hanger box, exclusive orange ice prisms. And then you also get chances at variations, which would be exclusive to this format as well as fast break would have the fast break uh, parallel. So the variations like that, you've seen the classic Zion prism that is the variation prism. And then you've seen the, you know, jaw one and that's the variation jaw. So variations are in here. The only parallels would be the, as that we know of now would be the fast break ones. And um, yeah, so the only place you can get the base ones are right here. So we have five we're opening today to review for you guys, and I'll have all the retail formats. Stay tuned, you know, for cellos, megas as I get them. Once again, you're selling some uh, some prism. Definitely hit me up. I'm looking to get some to review. And you're wondering where you can get them from? Walmart, Target, their sites as well. Although if you're not super early, you don't have a bot, you're probably not getting them. And um, yeah, I always buy mine from Instagram, Discord, or eBay if I have to. So that's where I get mine. Always pay resale because I'm just I just know that I can't get it in my area. It's uh, it, it's hectic, those releases these days. So here's uh, the box. We'll put these to the side and got my little handy dandy blade here. Also stuff you can get in addition to those orange ice and variations are the autos, jerseys, silvers, greens, inserts as well. And uh, here's the back, no panini wrap covering it. So we can actually just show you right there. So the autos, I, I've hit maybe one auto out of, I don't know, maybe 10 of these I've ripped so far. And you hit, I've hit a few jerseys, so not too rare. And um, then I think I pulled a couple variations, not too many, but maybe like three or four. Nah, I say three. I say three. I don't think I've hit four. That would be a little too common. But let's uh, get this box open. This wrap can be a little loud. It's a hard plastic wrap. Yeah, it's on the louder side. And there we go. Hobby's crazy expensive, so. Nice to have some retail, which is not not exactly cheap, but it is cheaper. So still much more than the SRP, and that is unfortunate, but I guess that's the uh, the world we live in these days. I want to also give a thanks to uh, underscore trading, underscore card, underscore central, underscore, and uh, my guy James helped me get some retail, um, bought it off them, so thank you guys for the deals. And there's Faith Pascal. Oh, and I showed the back there. Let me like this so we've yet to pull i think any any big lamello or ants so hopefully we can get one here and um if you haven't once again seen the blasters or the hobby or first off the line that we reviewed definitely check those videos out because uh that's what kind of you'd be comparing these two but there's our orange parallels there and our base if you haven't seen the base this is what they look like all right let's see what we got hopefully we can get some super duper big ultra booms like right here Great player, not the one we're looking for, but that's okay because right here, okay, no. All right, that's no problem. Russell Westbrook dominance and KG USA. So now we get to Zion dominance, certainly. That's his, that is Luminance picture. I understand they don't have too many new pictures, but I feel like they would have had, I don't know, more. They've been using a lot of uh, same pictures, but all right, let's see. Whoops, upside down, Ben Simmons. If you guys haven't already, drop a like, sub, share, comment. And uh, we have tons of more content, so if you want to see more, definitely show that support and stay tuned. And rookie, <laughs> there should be rookies somewhere in here. Also, Instagram there, Pac-Man cards. That's why I sell cards, have exclusive info, early news, just anything, uh, just anything that I want to reach out to you guys. Any information is always there. Okay, so, hmm. That's not good. Okay, so here should be the rookies. So far, so bad. Achua. And... The Cell. And Caleb Martin. So I guess, does he count as a rookie? I think he does count as a rookie. I've been saying fake rookie. I think they just forgot the rookie card logo because they gave him the rookie background. Unless, I mean... Yeah, they gave him the... I don't know. And they put him in the rookie spot. So I'm not too sure. I guess we'll have to see. That first one was pretty pretty awful. That might be one of the worst boxes they've 
they made, period. Um, I mean, there's not a single card to highlight from that box. That was so bad. I really seriously hope none of you guys get a box like that. So once again, it's very risky. These are made to be like $18, $20 boxes. That's why I always say the SRP. Uh, the resale, once again, every, you'll see it resale everywhere. SRP is important because that's what they make these boxes to be like loaded at or provide content at. Now it's sold resale everywhere. It's sold resale, um, except for obviously in Target and Walmart. But I mean, you'll see it on eBay. You'll see it, you know, uh, on Instagram, Discord, uh, hobby products, Panini's site is resale for those of you not not sure. So when I say SRP is, you know, this much and resale is this much and you see it for that resale price, that is the resale and it's being charged resale on their, their site there. I, I saw a lot of confusion about that one. So let's see, maybe this one can be better. I, I don't want to see <laughs> anything. I hope it's nothing like that last one. That was one of the worst things I've seen in a long time. Now, since that rookie's on the back, I'm going to try to open it without showing that back card. All right. Here we go. Now, this is one I've actually never, even when retail was available, I don't think I've ever seen the hanger boxes ever in because they, they're pretty popular. They're solid formats. A lot of you guys, there's a nice sign on there. A lot of you guys say this is the better of the retail formats and we are putting it to the test. We're going to see. Oh, okay. So this would be, here we go. This would be a good uh, test to see if it's good or not. Come on, rookie variation or autograph or something just not, something, something good. Uh-huh. Oh, Vassell. So we have... The variation. Oh, and these actually say the var variation now. There you go, right down there, variation. So there you go, variation Vassell. Now, we actually pulled the base one. Did we? Oh, there we go. So that's convenient. There we go. Base, variation. And you can tell once again on the back that it is a variation. All right. Mick Buckets. Mick, not a rookie. And Hachimura, Hard and Soul, Emergent Okongwu. All right, I need to see some rookies in the ices or something seriously wrong here. Okay, I think they're like this. We're just going to fly through them. One of them's going to be a rookie once again. They do exist. Okay, <laughs> Oturu. Okay, we got a rookie. It is a Turu. It's not the best one to get. I'm just grateful to see a rookie because I was like, yeah, there's rookies in here, but and I, I was doubting myself. Quickly, it's a good one to get. Stewart. Okay, so I guess there's just base cards chilling back here. So maybe, I don't know, that Caleb Martin. He's a rookie in Don Russell at least. Burning Carey Jr., so we got Hornets. Just not the Hornet. All right, let's get this one. I'd love to pull a monster from these, but once again, not not easy. And I've always liked these hanger boxes. I, I actually last year had some pretty good luck. Once again, I pulled that Zion. I pulled... Now that I think about it, I can't remember what I pulled. I pulled, I think, a, an auto or two, at least. Two variations, so... And I can't get this off. There we go. Now, I bought these at resale last year. And even then, I was like, hmm, I don't know. I think I paid like 25 for them. And I think they came out at $18 last year. At the time, I was like, $7 more per box? Like, this is this is getting out of hand, guys. I was like, seriously? Like, th this is wrong. Now it's $130 per. That was pre-boom and everything like that. So at the time, you just weren't, you, there was no resale. There was no markup. It was stuff that was always just available. But yeah, the hanger boxes is the only one I think I never found. I found Gravity. And you, if you find any Gravity feed, hit me up. I'll be down to buy because Gravity feed is... The only one I can never find gravity. I found it once or twice, I think. Blasters you can usually find cellos, but the hangers, another Zion, are not too easy to find. I think these are only at Walmart. I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. All right. Boom. Okay. Hmm. Julius Randall. Cam Johnson. Obi Toppin. Instant Impact. Okay. Oh, there we go. My first Lamello card from Prism. Now, like my first Ant, they're both not base rookies, which is definitely the one you want, like, a lot more. But I'm just happy to see this guy in, in Prism because he's eluded me up to now. 
So we have him there. Thank you, Lamelo. I always want to be his friend, but he he's don't, doesn't want to be my friend. And let's see who our four vets are. Okay. Maladone. Okay, that's actually that's good. I like that. And another rookie just for fun. Okay, never mind. Maladone's good. I'll take the Maladone. And looks like, yeah, these are definitely not all rookies. For some reason I thought they were. Patrick Williams, I'll take that. And just one rookie. Hmm. Good one to get, but still. Just one is... It, it can be rough. All right. Let's protect this guy. Got a sleeve for him. Maladone. I like that. Two boxes left. So far, definitely not... Uh, not living up to the price. But once again, I could get an incredible box and then you could get one that could be terrible. I could get a terrible box. You could buy one that could be incredible. I can average box and you could also get an average box. So I could rip five bad ones. You could get five good ones. You never know what's going to be in them. Obviously, there's good boxes out there. There's bad boxes out there. So no matter what I get, this is trying to uh, kind of just give you guys a look at what these are about. And by no, by no means at all is, you know, the five box I rip perfect representation of the whole product in totality so now we're getting a rookie silver i'm just i see that silver i'm really feeling a rookie here because i mean, can't be all vets so here we go as a rookie oh i'm right no way tillman i don't have this one yet for uh, my grizz pc i'm gonna sleeve that guy actually how about that okay so i guess we're, we're calling the shots today all right um hmm I don't know if I'm feeling anything else. I'm gonna say, let's get a, let's get a good base rookie in the back. I mean, I mean Anthony Edwards in the front. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Wow, called it again. Anthony Edwards, thank you. Now we just need the base one. Got Cam Reddish and Rudy Gobert and Damari Carroll. Rookie, no, no, and no. Oh my gosh. Are we being serious right now? Damari Carroll, Patty Mills. Patrick Beverly and James Johnson. Oh, why why do they do this to us? Oh man. That hurts. And then two Mavs rookies there. <laughs> oh dude. Oh boy. Alright, last one. This if we pull a nice uh like six hundred dollar card here, we make our money back. So that's all it takes. Just one six hundred dollar card. Not not too difficult, right? Now I know that there's some once again incredible boxes out there, so I'll I'll give my rating. I'm trying not to you know whether I get something crazy, or something not crazy. Try to give it a rating based off of just what I think about it overall. So last one, so far, it's not been so good. So far, so bad. There you go. And uh, I was just about to say, I was like, where are the jersey cards at? And we got one in this one. I should I should have called it before. Would have been a I guess two for three. All right, come on, last hanger box, last box mojo, last pack, last box, whatever you want to call it. We need the mojo here. Here we go. Jaw. I love how you can't get rookies in here. You can only get them in the back. Or at least we haven't gotten any. So they're really not giving out these rooks. Just tons and tons of bets. All right, come on, jersey card. I need Lamello. I need Bane. I need Upside Down. Okay, here we go. Lonnie Walker. Okay. All right, yeah. Um, Orange Ice. I mean, they look cool. Orange Ice jersey cards here. I pulled Zion last year too. That's the one I was thinking of. I pulled Zion's jersey card, uh, Orange Ice. That was that was nice. Don't know if I still have it or not. I might. Not sure. And Kyrie and Kevin Love. Okay. Base went down. Donovan Mitchell. Quickly. So we're getting the inserts of the good rooks. We're just not getting the base. Dominance Kawhi. All right. I don't know if I've seen a single good like vet. <laughs> it's all been the bad vets. No, no offense. Just like the guys you don't want. Ricky Rubio. Come on, man. I don't even know how this is 
this should defy all odds here. That is <laughs> that is terrible. I mean, D'Lo is a good player too, but like, that's terrible. That's something you just never want to see ever. Oh, ugh, ugh. And these, okay, well, hmm. So we had about one, I'll show you guys. <laughs> one or two solid pulls. Uh, hmm. Don't know what I think about these. Here's the inserts and the inserts and some parallels we got in here. Nothing crazy. Obi top in there, actually. Put them here. Um, Kongu there. And that's kind of it. And here's our highlight stack. And don't be deceived. This highlight stack is very largely comprised of bottom of the barrel prism, orange ice prism vets. Obi Toppin. Nico Mansion. <laughs> Cassius Winston. Troy Brown Jr. Ricky Rubio. Ooh. D'Angelo Russell. Mitchell Robinson. Got quickly there. Okay, so here we go. Lonnie Walker jersey. Ja. Uh, Terry Green. This, I need to just, this is needs to be seen. This needs to, like, we can't gloss over this. Damari Carroll, Patty Mills, Patrick Beverly, and James Johnson were four in the same box. That is one of the biggest shames ever. Uh, Tillman and Maladon, some solid ones. Patrick Williams, solid too. Dante DiVincenzo, Robert Covington, Sadaransky. Lamelo Ball, there we go. So we did get a Lamelo, my first prism Lamelo, just not the... Uh, not the base, unfortunately. Still chasing that one. A Turu. We got a few solid pulls, but definitely um overall. Not an L. Uh, not not a dub. Yes, an L. Here's Vassell. Rhyming accidentally. That's the variation. And there's the base. And Ooh. And Zion Silver there. So Yeah. We'll close off on this variation Vassell. Lamello Ball. Maladone, Tillman, and yeah, that's it. Let's just do these four. The reason I'm choosing these is kind of just showcases the different things you can get. Now, once again, you can get stuff in here. There are obviously orange ice lamellos, variational mellows, uh, silver, and stuff like that. We didn't get them. I guess the good news for anyone ripping these is uh, about four pretty pretty terrible boxes have been taken out of circulation. So, uh, yeah. You're not going to get those ones. Or maybe you will. Hopefully you don't. But overall, I still understand the potential of these. I have ripped these in the past. Um, I definitely believe I got some, pre some pretty bad ones this time. Uh, but I know you can get some good stuff. I'll say these. I'll say they're about a 7-ish. Yeah, I'll, I'll say a 7. I always feel like I give it some more rating. But you have to be pretty bad or incredible to be too far out of like 6 to 8. But um, yeah, I'll give 7 overall. Variations are something you can chase. Also, the autos, the jersey cards. We did get a jersey. Uh, you get the rookie inserts, the rookie silvers, the base rookies, and then the orange ice. Now, you can get four guys you don't want to get. You can you can get a Maladon too, or Yolmelo, or Edwards, something like that. So, um, I wouldn't mind trying some more. Maybe in like a different series, we'll we'll do some more. This is just the review, but I will maybe do like a retail versus hobby or something like that, and showcase some more. Maybe we hit a big hit there, and all of a sudden, this stuff's incredible. So, until then. Yeah, I'll say it's at seven for now, and good luck if you try some for yourself. Once again, eBay, Instagram, Discord, online retailers, uh, your store if you get lucky. They're Target, Walmart sites. Um, I don't know what Target, but like Walmart, and uh, that's where you can get them. About one thirty per box, give or take ten bucks, and uh, it's one. It's a fun one to rip. Only one pack, unfortunately, and it can be very hit or miss. But the potential is there to get some good stuff. Ceiling isn't crazy high, but usually I feel like it's it provides some solid value. Not this time, but hopefully for you guys that is the case. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching as always. Stay tuned for tons of more content and uh, like, comment, sub. I'll see you guys later.